Hey everyone, this is Travis Likens for the UVD Weekly Wrap-Up, and we're here today at DesignerCon 2016 talking to the one and only Skinner. How's what? the show going for you so far? It's going great. I love it. I'm, ha I'm happy. So uh, this year you're hanging out mostly at the Unbox booth, yeah. and you uh, have a lot of stuff on display as far as like your current products plus some new stuff. Would you mind telling us a little bit about the new prototypes that you have on display? Yeah, the uh, new prototypes are sculpted by David Arshowski and they're based on the characters I created for the High on Fire uh, music video, the animated video I just finished and um, uh, Dan from Unbox is going to produce them and they, they look really incredible. I'm, I'm really happy with them. I can't wait to do the art for the packaging or something for them yeah. to make it like a really inclusive thing. You know? Are they, um, is the plan for them to be kind of like a carded and bagged, bagged figure, or will they be like in a box? Ah, uh, shit. Uh, it's a little early to tell, but yeah. um, I don't know. You know, I really like those old Ken Kelly Micronauts yep. paintings and style yep. things, you know? So I'm like, maybe I should learn how to oil paint. Ooh, that'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, maybe yep. maybe like carded in there, you know. I guess Dan, I'll let Dan figure that out since he's shouldering the whole thing. You yeah. Know? That's probably the best idea, right? Yeah. <laughs> Dan, I have a big idea. He'll so, be like, uh, okay. Uh. So um, any uh, big projects other than the uh, uh, new pro new figures on the way? On the way? Yeah, I mean, uh, I've been doing a lot of uh, writing and writing treatments for music videos. And uh, this uh, virtual, virtual reality company wants me to create like a sort of an environment, which I'm really excited about. And... Uh, there's um, Mastodon wants me to work with Hey Beautiful Jerk, who I do the music videos with, to create a uh, live performance projection animated thing to be projected back on, you know, while they're performing yeah. and stuff. And uh, I've been working on scripts and uh, concepts for Adult Swim and yeah. just like cartoons. I've been writing a lot. I've been uh, just uh, drawing a lot. I don't know. Yeah. Just I'm really happy about just drawing again so yeah i know it's kind of boring i guess just sitting <laughs> sitting by yourself drawing yeah. all the time yeah but you uh i feel like you've kind of went through a refocus i guess i would say yeah like where you're kind of in a transition period and you're doing a lot of really cool stuff that's Thanks. not the stuff you were doing before yeah and, cool yeah so that's cool um the other thing that i've noticed is that with the adult swim stuff how was it how was it working with adult swim to create that short that you did what was that a year or so ago Oh, the, like, the bumps that I did? Yeah. Like, yeah, it, it's cool because, the you know, it's like when you work with, uh, a, like, bigger companies, the the thing is, is that depending on what part of what company that you're working with, like, it's like some sometimes, like, one, you know, br uh, branch of yeah. the company will be like, do whatever you want. And then you're like, okay. <laughs> and then the other ones will be like, okay do your thing but we want to see a million like revisions yeah and then you're like oh okay yep. and then the other ones are like just keep sending us stuff until we like it and you're like ah oh, no direction uh, at all <laughs> all right uh, yeah so it's like uh we're doing the bumps for adult swims amazing because jason demarco who's in charge of that and he does a lot of the um singles and the music and and adult swims connection to like record labels yeah he's amazing he he gives me all this bandwidth like to just get weird and yep. do that stuff so i don't know i'm i'm just grateful i feel like i'm like getting away with something all the time <laughs> i'm like is anybody it's gonna like, notice i'm still doing this shit <laughs> you're like did, did they realize they hired me when yeah they hired <laughs> but i am professional regardless yep. of how uh, yeah. <laughs> my personality yep yep <laughs> i do get things done on time <laughs> although i am late i was late to the uh, art the secret wall <laughs> sing last night but I was eating my dinner and I'm sorry I apologize to Greg Mishka sorry I apologize to you so um, as speaking of the secret walls event you guys were the winners and so some congratulations are in order um, thank you very a, much it was a great looking piece uh, we were there covering the event and uh, trying to make sure everybody was getting some props but it was really awesome to see the show you guys put on so thanks man um, I guess the secret the secret to the the secret walls thing is I, you can't plan you should not plan anything yeah. you should just sort of just start and then like as it's as it's kind of happening be like oh this is a cool idea this is organic this yeah. is inspiring so while it's happening you're kind of like 
oh, this all this cool shit kind of happened, yep. you know, magically. Yeah. And then and then you're like, wow. And so even if you do lose, you're kind of like, well, that I yeah. I still feel like I gave it my best. Yeah. And when I see secret walls and that happens, I think that's the most interesting because some of the people yeah. you can tell when they're planning and like yeah. the free. <laughs> And then when the freeform guy's up there, it's really, uh, you know, it's the most interesting to watch because you're just yeah. kind of figuring it out as you go. Yeah, I like it. I'm, I was really lucky. I'll be honest. Uh, uh, I, I don't, everybody else did so good. I don't know if I, like I always, I feel like a big fraud. So, you know, I'm <laughs> like, oh, they should, somebody else should have won. Yeah. You walked in like a rock star, though. <laughs> you were like, I'm late. Uh, just throw your stuff down and get going. So. It's so accidental. <laughs> I think it's so funny in our culture, too. Like, if you're just irresponsible and shitty and late, like, everybody's like, what a rock star. <laughs> you know? So, um, <laughs> but uh, is there anywhere that fans, if they, they don't follow you, which they should be, where, where could cool. they find you? Um, on Instagram, The Art of Skinner at gmail.com oh uh, wait no that's my actual <laughs> that's my that's my email I think <laughs> wait is that my email wait no uh, the art of Skinner on Instagram uh, the art of Skinner on Facebook and then uh, it, it's Skinner on Twitter but you know what I don't really go on there because I kind of treated Twitter as sort of like a career suicide thing <laughs> so I would go on there and just get super bizarre and like everybody's confused yep. I will say that to everybody out there the internet is a big joke so just treat it like a big joke and yeah. don't take yourself don't take anything seriously and don't start fights on the internet for no reason <laughs> oh my god don't start fights ever <laughs> or if you do just say sorry <laughs> I did not vote for Donald Trump <laughs> so uh, I would never do that oh wait uh, the only the only time I would do that is if I knew that um, it would save the animals in some way or n another so, and it's not so. So um, thanks for taking the time to speak with us, though. We're really happy to get you on our site, get it on the on the website, and get it out to the fans. Yeah. And um, I'm, I'm stoked. Yeah. I, you guys are awesome. It's people like you that actually keep things going. And, and I'm really grateful for the time and energy that you put out there into, like, being supportive and excited about this stuff. Well, and congratulations on um, your powerlifting record. He just beat <laughs> his powerlifting record 1,400 pounds. <laughs> yes, it was quite close to 1,400 pounds. So it was. Uh, it was what? How, what was it? Don't it was, be shy. Let's talk about that. 415 pounds. That's a lot so. of fucking weight. Yeah, dude. it was a lot of weight. Um, I've been working on it a while. Yeah, it's all in the legs. <laughs> so I but. grabbed his dick. <laughs> So, uh, but thanks for taking the time with us. Um, make sure to follow Skitter if you're not. Uh, but as always, have a great designer toy day. Thank you. Hey everyone, this is Travis Likens from Token Nerd Podcast, and I'm here today to tell you something about sponsorship. That's right. Token Nerd now has a sponsor. The fine folks at TenaciousToys.com, your source for designer toys, pop vinyl, original art, and more, are now our sponsor. And guess what? As a part of that, you can get 10% off your next order at TenaciousToys.com by entering the code TOKEN10 at checkout. That's right, 10% off. And not only are they giving you this code, they're also going to be sponsoring many of our Token Nerd giveaways in the next coming months. So make sure to follow us at token underscore nerd on Instagram to catch our latest giveaways.